Hi everybody. Happy Sunday. I have made a commitment to putting up a uh, journey video every Sunday. At first I said it was going to be about the Course in Miracles, but Spirit let me know that I could serve you better by doing something else, the journeys. So that's what we're going to do. And um, if you're new here to my channel, hello. Thanks for clicking on my video. My name is Brenda, and I've been spirit-led to make shamanic journeys for people. And let me put my website up here. I have a website called brendatimaginewith.me, where you can go to make appointments for shamanic journey that I do for donations. And I've also created a Facebook page called Short and Sweet Tarot. That's also going across the bottom of the screen. And I created that just for like-minded people like us so we can get together on there and tell each other stories about what kind of cool, magical, mystical experiences we've had recently, or old ones, and um, tell us what your tarot card said or, you know, anything along those lines that you want to talk about on there. And it's just getting started, so there's not many on there yet. And please join. Send me a friend request on there. Thank you so much. So I wanted to show you this oil painting because it's all finished now. And I put it up in a video recently, a couple of weeks ago. Spirit showed me a picture very similar to this in a dream. And I got up that morning and knew they were telling me, get up and do something and stop sitting around. And they even showed me what to paint. <laughs> so I'm going to put that down over here for now. But um, during the journey, I'm going to put the camera on that because you don't have to look at me that whole time. That's not right. <laughs> so um, let's see, did I leave anything out? Um, oh, yeah. On Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 Central Time, 10 in the morning Central Time, I'm committed to doing live tarot readings. So come on and join us. And you can ask me any kind of question you want. And I'll see if it's something that sounds appropriate for me to ask Spirit about. I'm strongly connected with the tarot cards with Spirit. Um, and when I'm home alone, I can really tell that I'm very connected. When I get on in front of the camera, my energy affects me a little bit. But I've done it three times now, so I think I'm starting to get used to it. And I really am grateful to those who have joined me and helped me out with this practicing I'm doing. And hopefully, I'll get more and more comfortable with it. So I asked Spirit this morning what the journey should be about that we're going to do today. And um, the idea came to me to do a journey called You Are the Light. So that's what we're going to go into right now. And I'm going to turn the camera at the oil painting. Like I said, you don't have to look at me the whole time. Yay! I hope this doesn't make noise, but it probably will. There we go. Okay. Sit back with me and get comfortable. You can lie down or you can sit up. And let's start by taking some deep breaths at your own pace. Take a deep breath in through the nose, a deep breath out through the mouth. Cause the exhale to be longer than the inhale. And let's do this a few times with a pace that you're comfortable with. And let's do some relaxation techniques to take us a little deeper. 
So we will be very receptive to what Spirit has for us this morning. Now, imagine with me a warm liquid is slowly running down the top of your head and as it passes downward it totally relaxes everything that it comes across. It's going down your face, down your eyes, down the back of your head, down to your nose, relaxing you down to your jaw, and your jaw loosens, and your tongue lays on the bottom of your mouth, and your eyelids close and are very heavy, and the relaxation continues down the back of your neck, down your shoulders, down your chest and arms, and your shoulders drop, and your shoulder muscles completely relax, and your elbows become very heavy as you sink down further into your chair. Your wrists become very heavy as they lie on your lap or beside you. Your arms are completely relaxed. And the relaxation continues down your chest, down your back, down your hips, down to your hip bones, your hip sockets, and your whole torso and everything inside your body, all of your organs are even completely relaxed and your heart rate slows down. The relaxation continues down the top of your legs to your knees, down from your knees to your ankles, down from your ankles to your toes, and your feet are very heavy and now your body is completely relaxed and is sinking down into your seat further and further. As we take some more deep breaths, we continue relaxing. And now we're going to count from 10 to 1. And with each count, you'll sink further into a very deep relaxation. Ten, nine, eight, relaxing down more, seven, six, five, four, sinking down more, three, Two, one. As Archangel Michael is my gatekeeper, we will now proceed on this journey to a lovely garden. And at this garden, all of your guides and angels and my guides and angels 
have joined together to assist us with realizing who we really are. As my spirit animal, the raven, circles above and settles in a tree to roost, he watches over us. And in the middle of the garden, there is a comfortable old bench surrounded by flowers. Whatever you love the most to see in nature is there. There's a small stream running nearby and you can hear the trickle of the water. There's lovely flowers and gorgeous English tea roses with beautiful fragrance that delights us. And our guides and our angels circle around us And they sit down on the ground in meditation style and they close their eyes and they raise their hands to their chest in, in prayer. And my spirit guides are here that help with the journeys. The one I call the elder one and the ones from Australia. And they're performing their ceremonies, playing their instruments, and honoring you. And at this time, a special angel steps forward. And the angel comes up to you and smiles at you and it reaches out its hands and now five more angels come to join the first one and they make a circle around you and they walk around you in a clockwise circle Actually, they float. We can't see their feet, but they're circling you. They're of different colors, different pastel colors, pastel pink and green and yellow and blue and purple and orange. And as they continue to circle around you, Instead of looking like angels, they start to become spheres, balls of light. Each angel turns into a different color of a ball of light. And they continue to circle around you. And they start going faster, not too fast, a little faster and a little faster. And as they do so, you look down at your hands and you see that your hands are beginning to glow in the color of your choice. What is the glow color of your hands? What do you see?
and the angels continue to go around you. And then they start slowing down again. And they step back. And Master Yeshua is here with us. He's always with us. And he steps forward and he smiles at you. And he says to you, you are divine. You are holy. You are part of all there is. You are part of the Father, the Creator, the Source. You are holy. And then he smiles at you and steps back. And a beautiful little girl with a beautiful little pink dress goes down to her ankles, a big puffy skirt. And the little boy dressed in a handsome little suit. And they're beautiful children and they're smiling from ear to ear. And they say, the angels have asked us to come to you and to remind you to be as a little child. Let your mind be innocent. Let your thoughts be pure. Let your heart trust. And let your heart be filled with love. And let your voice be filled with laughter. And they giggle and they run away. And we hear a beautiful music playing. It's kind of faint. We can't quite tell what it is. And then we realize that is the song of heaven that we're hearing. We are so near to heaven. It is right beside us. If we could see with our spiritual eyes. And now magically, a mirror, a large circular mirror, appears in front of you. And the angels say, look in the mirror. Look into your eyes. What do you see? And as you're looking into your eyes, you start to see a light there. And as you continue, you notice the light is growing. And the light is starting to cover your eyes and nose. And it's getting brighter. 
and it's getting brighter and bigger. And soon it covers your whole face. You can look at it, it doesn't hurt your eyes, but it is very bright. And it grows larger and larger till it takes up the whole mirror. And as you continue to gaze at it, it gets brighter and brighter. And your guardian angel comes up behind you and whispers in your ear, Dear one, you are beautiful. Look at the light in the mirror. This is who you really are. You are a bright ray of heaven. And you reach far out into eternity there is no end to the light that shines that you are. And you take a deep breath. And another deep breath. And the light that you're looking at in the mirror seems to come into you with the breaths that you're taking. And you absorb it all. More and more of the light comes in with every breath you take. And soon you look down at your body and your hands and arms. Oh, and you see, yes, I am the light. And you take your hands and you fold them over your high heart. And you hold this light into yourself and you promise yourself I will remember I am the light you look at your guardian angel and you say I will remember that I am the light And you're so grateful that you've remembered who you really are. And now our circle of angels and guides starts to dissipate and go back from where they were. The indigenous ones cease their ceremonies and step back Archangel Michael I ask that if any portals were open during this ceremony that you would allow those who came from them to return and that they should be closed now and that you would assist everyone in returning back from whence they came 
safely and that only love and light return with us at this time. Thank you, dear angel. And now my spirit animal, the raven, circles around us once above, indicating that this is complete. And now we start to wiggle our fingers, wiggle our toes, wiggle our back. You might want to stretch. You might want to stand up and stretch really hard. And we are filled with light and love. And we say, dear guides and angels, we send you our love and gratitude for this time we had together. We are complete. I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope it sticks with you and stays in your heart. And I hope that when you're feeling down, if you're feeling down, that you can remember the day that you saw yourself in the mirror and you saw who you really are. You are the light. Have a happy Sunday.